Hey Taurus, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down below. Okay. So in the past year, I feel that there was a lot of um, commotion, chaotic uh, energy out here. Okay, a lot of arguments, pettiness, conflicts. Okay, you guys not on the same page. Either you people had too many people involved in this connection, or I'm getting more like there was just a constant conflict going on. Okay, between you both, you wanted commitment. This person didn't want, want commitment. Now, dear. Now, this person that you're dealing with is someone here who's coming from a place of resentment. This person is just not ready to give you what you want, and you are hell bent on getting what you want. Period. That's what's happening out here. This is someone here who probably is also someone here who loves you very, very much. Okay. This person does have the emotions for you. They do feel for you. But the problem here is that this person here is um, acting very immaturely. Okay. They acted out of fear, hurt and resentment in the past. They kept putting off communication. Okay. They put off the communication and just let the situation fester. Okay. That's what's happening here. Very stubborn person, someone who refuses to change. So even if things were changing around them, okay, they still refuse to change, still emotionally stuck on a past issue where they were screwed over, where someone messed over, okay, and someone probably uh, hurt them, betrayed them in the past. And when it comes to both of you all, you guys constantly have those conflicts, okay. What's the king of wands in reverse here? Right now, someone's a player, a cheater. I'm just not going to say that, but probably this is just someone here who's non-committal. King of wands in reverse. Guys, for the king of wands in reverse. Yeah, see this person here now realizes their mistake, okay, now they want to come towards you, right? If this person was going back and forth with the decision, it looks like they're pretty clear about what they want. They fear rejection, okay? They want to come towards you with an offer here. They realize they were too focused on the past, okay? But this person here is wanting to just think and think and think and think. They ponder, 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 ponder on the offer that they want to make and now they're thinking about whether they should have taken up the offer with you or given you the offer of the love and the attention that you deserve. Right now, this person wants to make you an offer, okay? There is an opportunity here where they can come towards you but the problem here is that this person's too focused on the past, okay? The influence out here is the justice. So yeah, they do want to make things right between you both. They want to right or wrong here. Uh, Karma is biting their ass big time, okay? Big time. And they realize that they fucked up, they messed up. What's the justice here? What's the justice here? Yeah, this person out here is trying their best, you know, um, to ignore the situation as much as they can, okay? With the hermit in reverse here, give me one more card for the hermit in reverse. Yeah. This person here wants to come towards you, okay? This person's ghosted you probably, you're not talking to them there's like radio silence between you both this is on their mind to want to make things right here but they're very indecisive you know it's like they don't trust their own actions here you know there's lack of confidence out here it's like that there's this masculine energy with the king of wands who gets up and gets things done this person is being more passive waiting for their opportunity to fall in their lap now look at this bro even if the opportunity is there this person is blind because this person here is just very very negative very pessimistic staying in that low vibrational energy but the opportunity is there but it's like they don't trust their own self you know there's a lot of self-doubt here which is probably pulling them back, okay, which is making them hold back from coming towards you and taking action towards you here. And the only thing I see here is fear of rejection. Now, the influence out here is that this person wants to come out of here, okay, and they want to get back, they want to turn back around and come towards you, they want to get things moving forward with you, okay. They're ready to have a balanced relationship with you, but where's the action? Where's the action? What's the moon on your mind? On your mind, you probably are just very, very insecure, okay. Uh, things are very insecure. It's very insecure because you don't know what the fuck is going on. Okay. Either you feel this person is hiding something from you or you there's just unknown energy between you both where you just don't know what's going on here. What's the moon here? I think you have emotions for them, but right now trusting your intuition and just choosing to suppress your emotions for them. What's the moon here? I think you're secretly manifesting this person. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. You're secretly manifesting this person. You know, they're your happily ever after. Okay. But uh, I think you're trying to secretly manifest a brand new opportunity with them. Okay. A new beginning with them. But you're doing it in under wraps. That's what you're doing. Now, for the ones who are not doing it. Okay. This is the ones who are doing it. What's the emperor here? This is the root of the issue here. What's the emperor? Yeah. This person here now wants to take control of the situation, okay? So, yeah. The root of the issue is that now this person is getting their shit together here. Of course, with a negative mindset, this person does not have a lot of positive mindset out here. But I feel that this person out here is wanting to take control of the situation. Or you're the one here, you know, who's... One more card for them, sir. 
Yeah. They want to take a leap of faith and come towards you. Okay. This person here now wants to make things right. I'm getting a lot of, see, justice, the emperor here. That's a very logical decision. So this person out here is probably no more wanting to be emotionally overwhelmed. But it's that mindset, okay? It's that stuck mindset which is keeping this entire thing on hold out here. Uh, they want a reconciliation. They want to come back, okay? They miss you. They want you. There could be an age difference between you both, okay? But this person wants to take a risk and come towards you back. Uh, you know, it's like start again, all over again from scratch. Nine of Wands here. Why is that here? Nine of Wands. Why is that here in the near future? <laughs> Fuck. Their guards are up like so much. Like they know you make them so happy, but their guards are up. This person fears losing their independence. They're non-committal yet. They're still non-committal. So, you know, what's happening here is even if they want to come towards you, right? Even if they want to, right? They know that even if they come towards you, it's still not going to work out because they know very clearly what you want. This person here in the near future is still going to have their guards up. They're not giving up on you, but they're being very stubborn is what I'm getting here. Okay. They've got that strength and that willpower like, no, no matter what happens, no matter how much I love Taurus, I cannot give up my independence here. Okay. Because this person here probably is trying to just maintain that distance out here. They've gone through a lot in the past. Okay, they've gone through a lot in the past, which is why they're behaving the way they do. One more card for the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So they want to make a move towards you, okay? But that move towards you is going to be like, yeah, it's going to be a little serious out here. But uh, they're trying to invest into you, okay? But I feel that the energy that they're coming towards you is like, you know, it's like if you want a relationship with this person out here, uh, emotions don't really matter so much to this person out here. Uh, this person loves their freedom. Okay, and they love a healthy balance between their freedom, like their love life and their life. Okay, so it's like two different things out here. They don't want it only all about love, emotions, love, emotions. Okay, for them, it's like their friends are important, uh, their work is important, and then there's love here. So you probably are coming off as someone here who makes them your entire world, and they come off as someone who makes you as a part of their world. You get the difference? Okay, so but looks like they will communicate. What's the page of wands in reverse? Your page of wands in reverse. You want this person. You're just trying to emotionally detach. I think you're just losing the mojo. You're just losing the spark in this relationship out here. You don't see any opportunities with this person out here. Although there's a lot of passion that you have with this person out here. What's, give me one more card for page of wands in reverse and knight of wands. Wow, you want to communicate with them. You miss them. See the Queen of Cups in reverse here. You're coming off from a place of insecurity, clinginess, neediness. Look, look at the way how badly you want to communicate with them. Now, again, I'm telling you, for the ones who, if you're not wanting to communicate, why are you watching this? Okay. Don't tell me this is for a new person. The tagline already tells you if this is a new person or an ex or someone else. Okay. But you guys definitely want to talk to them. Okay. But it's like you're losing, you're lacking the motivation. Or you're just waiting for them to come towards you. But actually, what you're doing right now, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords here, not only do you have the passion out here, you even want to argue with them, you want to fight. You just want answers is what I'm getting here. Okay. What's the devil here? That's what's in your environment. This person's obsessed with you or they have very strong codependency. This person could be stuck, tied and bound to another woman is what I'm getting here. Someone here who's probably very, very selfish and greedy here. Okay. Uh, or this person is just someone here, you know, who probably is very attached to you, although you're not giving them the attention that you want, that they want. One more card for the devil. One more card for the devil. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, Reverse King of Pentacles Upright. This person out here wants you. They want to make things right with you, but they see you as very, very focused on your career or goals. I'm getting fear. I'm getting fear. This person's what's holding them back is fear. They have a very heavy codependency on fear. See the four of cups here? That's fear. Uh, the devil here, that's fear. King of wands in reverse, fear of the unknown, fear of making the wrong decision out here, you know? So this person, uh, king of cups in reverse, again, holding back due to fear. This person is very fearful, you know? Whatever their fears are, I think this person can't take rejection. That's one of the reasons why they're so guarded also. You know, it's like I'd rather just stay away from Taurus rather than go there. You know, and make a fool of myself and get rejected. Okay, that's something I can't take. Something like that. But they're obsessed with you. They can't shake this connection off. It's a very strong connection here. What's the chariot in reverse? You're also not being able to move on. What's the chariot in reverse? You're holding back from them. 
if you're trying to force the connection here it's not going to work out don't even do that you're going to get exhausted you're going to reach a point of burnout out here okay i think you're what you're doing is with the strength you're trying your best to hold back your emotions trying to temper the situation you know and trying to just uh temper your emotions and trying to just tame the situation as much as you can it's like i'm not giving into this temptation anymore here yes i want this person yes i'm dying to talk to this person yes i love this person yes i would want to talk to this person like right now but you're doing your best to hold back here okay because you're waiting for them to come towards you but right now there's a lot of uh, you know your emotions your your mindset your uh, frame of mind is being pulled in two different directions okay uh, it's uh, your head and heart are not in balance right now you're holding back as much as you can what's the eight of swords here the outcome here is eight of swords what's the eight of swords wow still no movement forward here someone here still chooses to stay where they are here someone still chooses to stay stuck in their head trapped in their head you know this is someone here who's still not being able to see uh trust their intuition whoever this person is they need to trust their intuition now this is a collective outcome out here okay so i feel both of you all are stuck both of you all are stuck you're both being very lost and confused you're both refusing to take responsibility for making any decision out here i feel it's more this person but this is also you okay but this limiting thoughts are keeping this person stuck overwhelmed and dissatisfied okay this person needs to get their shit together okay but uh, right now things are not moving forward here there's probably a lack of forward movement still uh, for the next week because this person is still in their head let them get out of their head okay you keep doing what you're doing you hold back here okay this is what you're doing page of wands in reverse knight of wands and knight of swords here i know you're desperate you want to talk you want to know what the fuck is going on here because that's what's on your mind with the moon here and you're get listen with the magician here if you're trying to manifest this person and uh that's your energy out here it's not it's not going to work huh it's not going to work if you want to manifest if you're being the magician here you got to be the empress you're going to sit back relax whether you're a male or a female you're going to sit back relax and let the universe do its work here you can't be so hyper so aggressive you know just wanting to you know like this just, just shoot and go ahead without action okay uh, just shoot and go ahead thinking with, without um, acting without thinking don't do that okay i know you're really dying to talk to them you want to know what's really going on here the moon is a very frustrating energy but chill okay just relax out here give them some time okay give them some time let them get out of their head and that's when things can get moving one more week stay put all right thank you